What? How long have you been there? Not, not long, mate. Not long. Only about ten minutes. Ten min... Were you, were you trying to scare me? Not at all, man. I saw you ponder it over something and I thought I'd pop over and see if I could lend a hand. Oh, uh... Alright, I'm... I'm just doing this, uh, maths problem. And I've had to work out the area of the triangle. Alright, yeah, cool, cool. And I've, I've done so using the classic half base times height business, you know. Yeah, classic, classic. But then it got me thinking, I, I know all three sides, so the area is constrained. This triangle can't have any other area. So there must be a formula that I could use that I wouldn't have to work out the height of the triangle, you know? Well, there is, mate. Heron's formula, mate. Heron's formula. All right, okay. So, so what's that? What's that then? Well, it looks a little something like this, where S is half the perimeter. I can show you how it's derived if you like. Yeah, go on. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm assuming Pythagoras comes into it somewhere. Yeah, mate. There's several ways in which you can derive it, but since you've mentioned Pythagoras, we'll start there. So we start off with our triangle with sides A, B, and C, and we draw on our perpendicular height, and we'll call that H. And we'll call this length here D, and so therefore this length is C minus D. Now, we've got two unknowns here, H and D, and so we're going to need two equations in order to solve for them. And this is where Pythagoras comes in. Now, using Pythagoras' theorem, we get these two equations, and we can eliminate the variable H by taking them away from one another to get this new equation, which, when made to make D the subject, looks like this. We can now use this to substitute back into h squared is equal to b squared minus d squared, and after this, it's just manipulating algebra, and the difference of squares rule pops up a couple of times too. So let's get these over the same denominator, and immediately we can whip out the difference of squares rule. Now we can simplify this a little and whip out the difference of squares rule again. Now let's bring the semi-perimeter term S back in, since all these brackets could be represented with it somehow, which brings us to this neat-looking equation for H. Now all that's left is to put it into that trusty old equation, half base times height, and there we have it, folks. Heron's formula. Wow, that looks so neat. I've never seen this before, and I certainly don't remember learning it. Well, arguably you don't really need to know it, because it doesn't really take that long to work out the height of a triangle. And in my opinion, the techniques used during the derivation are probably the more important things to know, really. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah. Well, I'd best get back to it. Thanks for the insight, though. Ah, uh, you're more than welcome, pal. You know me. I'm always nearby for a chat. Yep. I know all too well, my friend. All too well. Hi guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to quickly mark the fact that about a month and a half ago, we surpassed 100 subscribers, and as I was thinking of some ways of marking the occasion, um, we were well on our way to 200 subscribers, so... Um, I really appreciate it. I think it's great to see so many people who are interested and are enjoying the videos that I'm making about whatever topics that I'm making them about. So um, thank you very much for all of your support to the channel and here's to many more videos and many more people joining the community. Thanks again guys. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.